Uh, sir, this just came in from the NSA. Interesting activity all over the net. We thought it was a worm overriding all the ASL systems, but... I told you, I just write in the net policy. I don't understand it. Sir, I think you should see this. Where did you get this? From the mind of a D-list internet celebrity. Contact Terrell. We leave at once. I'm concerned about Spoonie. He's sedated, but his brain is still downloading vast amount of information from somewhere. How much information? Physically speaking, enough that it would make that wiener of yours uh, twice the size of Chicago and three times the height of Mount Everest. Wow, you are hung! You see, most critics only use 5% of their brains, but Spoonie is at 92%. Well, why not pull the plug and wake him up? Because whatever he's hooked up to is still pumping. Have you ever tried to plug a fire hose when it's still attached to the hydrant? <laughs> well, what happens if his brain fills to 100%? A boom, boom, boom. Jesus! Now you see the conundrum. Well, we have to do something. I don't want to see my friend's head explode. Oh, don't worry. We have a contingency plan. How's Spoonie holding up? Not good. Ask Sage about his wiener. No. Um, can we help you? In the interest of national security, we are here to confiscate your spoon. What? Yeah, shut this off. Shut this all off. Uh, shutting this off would have extremely dangerous consequences. I'm not interested in your opinion, you gaggle of quacks. Just shut it off. Something out there is talking to Spoonie, and we don't know what. Pulling him out of this coma can have dire consequences. Yeah, tell him about Sage's wiener. <laughs> that might sound weird out of context. Shut it off! All right. My friend, don't be a douchebag. Um... I'm not much of a medical doctor. <laughs> Neither are they. They got an honorary degree from the Freudian University gift shop. Is that true? Absolutely not! I got mine out of a cereal box. Shut it off!
it. I've had enough. I got that stupid horror review out of the way, I can get back to what I normally work on. The cure for cancer. Almost done, but if I get interrupted, I'm never finishing. Oh, fantastic. Boys! also successfully tested our new weapon. And it reached Earth? With impeccable accuracy. Oh, it will take a while to regenerate for a second use, but everything is going exactly as I have foreseen. Nothing can stop us! Yes, you would need a bizarre combination of reviewers, nerds, gamers, and internet personalities to defeat us now. Bandai Pit Mickey! So as you can see, this is something bigger than we've ever tackled before. It's not only threatening us, it's also threatening our dead people that we've thrown into space in oatmeal cans. This is big. Now, I know I've never asked anything of you guys before. Did he really just say that? But we have to come together and make things right. Now, Spoonie seems to be the major link here. Where is he? In federal custody. Federal custody? Where the hell were you? In federal custody. Damn! He must be somewhere where we can't track him. What, what's going on? We're putting you into cardboard freeze. Is that just another term for putting me in a cardboard box? No, him in. Wait, no! Ah! Wait! I don't have a Wookiee to sue, they're a hot princess to kiss. You, inform General Turl he has his prize, and you, follow me. We have a critic to crush. <laughs> All right, then we have no time to lose. We have to go save him. Let's do it. Uh, no offense. Actually, a lot of offense. Why the hell should we trust you? Oh, come on. When have I ever lied to any of you guys? Oh my god, you guys, I want a car! I don't check my mail that often. Cinema's not filler in. All right, you're gonna love this. Okay, I lied a few times. And I know I've made some mistakes in the past. Thousands. And sometimes I've led you into danger. Always. But at least I had the best intentions in mind. Yours. And things have always turned out okay. Never. But this isn't about me this time, all right? It's about Spoonie and my tea and whatever the hell is out there turning this world upside down. Something is going on out there. My tea is alive. And for once in our lives, for once in my life, I have a chance to actually account for one of my mistakes. I have a chance to actually do something right. Please. I'm, I'm begging you here. Well, it would be good of us to help out our fellow reviewer. But maybe I'm still riding the high of winning that car. Yeah. yeah. And if the world goes down to bidet, there will be no one left to watch our reviews. Yeah. And then there will be no one left to criticize. Yeah! And then we won't get paid! Yeah! That's the selfish spirit. Like, huh? What do you say? Risk assessment analysis indicates the probability of your success to be minimal, ensuring your failure and my victory. Yeah! All right, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna fight science fiction with science. Science! Only those two doctors who are analyzing Spoonie can tell us what's going on. Where are they? 
Um, yeah, about that. They kind of got themselves arrested. By assaulting a federal agent. And a cop. Whom they stole his gun from. And used it against him. To steal a squad car. In exchange for. An ice cream truck. And hightailed for Tijuana. They were picked up by the Mexican federales. Dressed as nuns. They're gonna be gone for a long time. Boy, that's quite a routine you worked out there. Thanks. We worked on it in the car. You did awesome. Well, that's just great. Anyone else know a scientist batshit crazy enough to know what's going on? Wait, Critic, where'd you get the beaming device? The one that brought us here. <clears throat> I stole it. From who? So, the critics have come home to roost, eh? But what makes you think I want to help any of you in any way? Oh, come on, Insano, you know just as well as I do your ass is on the line. If we don't stop this thing, it's gonna be anarchy and chaos. The world's gonna be turned upside down. Precisely, which will make it all the more easy for me to take over. Or it could turn you into a hippo's ball sack. Good point. Very well, there's only one explanation for what's going on here, and I think I've figured it out. Good, so what's with all these anomalies then? The answer is quite clear. We're dealing with... A plot hole. A plot hole? What do you mean, a plot hole? I'm talking about a portal that shoots out nothing but inconsistencies and mistakes. Right is wrong, wrong is right, forwards is backwards, and backwards is forwards. It's a gateway to madness, and it's out of control. Any outcome could occur. Anything that was impossible before is possible now. But what started this... Well, you see, when Marty's ring collided with Malachite's hand, the resulting explosion ripped a hole in the space story arc continuum, thus filling the story arc with all these little pockets of chaos. Well, that's why we wouldn't notice all the painfully obvious inconsistencies around us. Isn't that right, Linkara? Indeed. Yes. It also explains why Spoonie could transform into me in Kigassia, even though we're obviously two completely different people. But wait, that was in the past. Oh, Juluigi, once again you're not thinking fourth dimensionally. Time isn't a straight line, it's more like a David Lynch movie. It's this wandering, meandering thing that just goes in all directions, and if you're very lucky, by the end you'll see some boobies and maybe some little people. Dr. Insano. What is inside the plot hole? What is through the gateway of madness? I don't know. But what I do know is, if it isn't stopped soon, all logic and consistency will go right out the window. The world will be turned on its head, never able to recover. All will be lost. Insano, we don't have a lot of equipment on our side. Is there any chance we could borrow some of yours? <laughs> you delinquents already stole from me one time, and trust me when I say it'll never happen again. Dr. Insano, I'm curious. What does any of this have to do with Matty and Spoonie? And please, give the explanation that would make you talk the longest. Well, that is one of the great mysteries, isn't it? I dare say, the greatest and most important mystery that remains to be solved. Nobody knows what joins these three seemingly separate things. But figure out how Marty, Spoonie, and the plot hole are connected, and you may very well yet save the human race. Fail. And it will be your doom. So, are there any other questions I can help? Oh, son of a bitch! This is why I need mad scientist insurance! He even took the novelty slot machine! Who does that?
Isn't it, Sad Panda? It makes me vomit this with loathing. Thanks for sharing. All right, let's get moving, people. Wait, 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 wait. If we're going into space, I need a proper attire. You're such a geek. I find that illogical. And that's why you're undateable. All right, let's get moving, people. By God, with a ship in my command and a crew to dispose of. Don't you mean at your disposal? Sure, nothing can stop us. Engineering, how are we doing down there? The adaptive interface link is online. The impulse power is nominal and the gravitronic positronic generator is about to reach its peak. What? We can go in about five minutes. All right, let's get ready to launch. Uh, Critic, there appears to be some very angry men approaching from outside. Jehovah's Witnesses? Angrier. Crap, we're not ready to go yet. Mickey, stall him. Knock this down, knock this all down. We can't, we don't have a battering ram. Use your foot. In these shoes, these are Johnson and Murphy Venetians. I don't give a shit if you're wearing Jimmy fucking shoes. You really should have called the SWAT team. Check the back. Sorry, gentlemen, this area is off limits. Says who? Section 6. Wait, we're Section 6. Then you should know. What district are you from? District 9? That's a movie. 12. That's Zimbabwe. So? So you're a white man with an Italian Jew fro living in the African jungle? You racist. Sir, get out of the way. Look, look, gentlemen. All your questions will be answered if you look right here. That's a vibrator. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go fuckers. The bats again. We're here to shut you down, Munchkin. I'm sorry. What did you just call me? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't hear me all the way down there, can you, little fella? <clears throat> That's a height joke. I wouldn't go for the height jokes. Oh, someone insecure about his height? Perhaps I should get you a booster seat and a Happy Meal. I really wouldn't be saying such things if I were you. Just maybe, just maybe, you should talk to the hand, because the head all the way up here can't hear you. Surely. is taking him so long. Okay, so apparently Spoonie's not on Earth. He's on a hidden base somewhere in Europa, I think. That was the last thing Prick's head said before I shoved in a weed whacker. Anywho, we should be able to catch him if we leave now, so uh, let's go. Looks like somebody called him short again. Mickey, good one, man. <laughs> Engineering, let's get going. Give me 150 M's and prepare for warp boost. Aye, aye. But Critic, won't this violate your house arrest? Why? I'm not leaving the house. Juario, take us out. Aye, sir. <laughs> Set a course for Europa. Uh, sir, the critic is no longer in Earth's atmosphere. What? Impossible. Where is Prick? Put him on screen! Oh! oh dear God! Turn it off! Oh, Turn it off! Oh, oh, oh. Where on oh, Earth Jesus was his nose? Those critics are monsters! Everybody, to your panels! 
Keep your eyes on every single one of Earth's radars. He is not going to escape me this time. You hear? Nothing gets past my cunning eye. You hear me? Not one blasted thing, critic! Right. What else could go wrong? Sir, the executor would like to speak with you. Critics gone. Mm hmm. Prick dead. Well, not exactly, yeah. You pissing yourself with fear? Definitely! You have failed me for the last time, Turl. Well, now if we're doing Empire, that's definitely my line. Thus, I am sending you a new master, one that will keep you on schedule. My lord? Foreign. Hello, Neil. Nice to meet you.